Hi guys, in the previous lecture we have built this pricing.html and now in this lecture we are going to build this contact page. First of all we will build this area, this have the 33% width, it have the 66 and now this is the description list and now let's start. Here I'm going to create a new page. Here it is. Save it as contact.html now now copy the code here I'm gonna copy the code from the pricing page and here it is and here is copy add this line and paste it here and now here it is and I'm gonna copy these last two tags and here is this and this and now the footer is created and here is the section and now here is the contact.html .html and now I'm gonna copy this and then paste it here in the pricing.html and here it is and here is the contact.html and here is also present and now let's execute it reload it and here is it and now I'm gonna set it current class and here is cut from this and paste it here and then here in between this I am gonna make the first section that is for the addresses and here is its class name is adjust3 here is the adjust3 and then here is the section and now here is the div class and here is the wrap call and here is the div closing tag and now in between this first of all I'm gonna place the h2 heading here is the h2 heading here is the h2 and here is the contact info and now here it is and now here is this all of this text is present in the paragraph this description list is also made in the paragraph so now here I'm gonna create a class p1 and now after this here is its closing tag and here I'm gonna give a strong class here is the strong and now here is the agro plus agro plus and here it is and now here I'm gonna give the class str2 str2 and now in between this I'm gonna create the description list here it is and now here I'm gonna copy this so leave it and I'm gonna copy it when I need it so here is the first description list here is it and here is its classes I'm gonna give it class address to give it the style here is the description list closing tag so first of all we have to place the description term here is the description term and the description term contain the address here is this 
and now here I'm gonna place the address here it is copy it and paste it here and then after this we have to write the description of the term here is first dd and first of all in between this I'm gonna place these two things first is the telephone number and then we have to place the email and all the things and here is and I'm gonna make the telephone number in the span here is in the span span and then here is bold and then here is also bold and now here I'm gonna increase it here is email here we have to edit it and we have to write here is the fax and then here is the email and I'm gonna copy it and then paste it in the anchor tag here I'm gonna place it inside the anchor tag here is place this email and then make it the anchor tag here is hyper reference and now here is the address and now I'm gonna copy it and now paste it again here it is so now two description list are now created here I'm gonna reload it so here this description list are created so now I'm gonna give it the styles by using this address class and now let's use this class here is dot address First of all, I'm going to give the style to the description term and here is the display as a block, here is the block and then here I'm going to give the font weight is normal and then here is the color is become grey here is the 7171 and then here is the font size I'm gonna give the font size to it 12 pixel and then here is the line height is the 18 pixel and here is the width of the description term the address is 235 pixel and now here it is this text is managed now and now here I want to tell you something that we have to create the space between this description list so now here I'm gonna give the padding to the description list on the bottom side here is the padding here is the 0 0 and here is the 20 pixel 0 and now let's execute it and here is the space is added and now I'm gonna give the style to the description here is the description this is the description I'm gonna give it a little style like this here is the address and here is the DD and he, first of all I'm gonna give it the font size 12 pixel and here is the line height 18 pixel and here is the color is a71 71 and here is the overflow here is the hidden and now let's reload it and now 
I'm gonna give the style here I'm gonna check its class address and now I'm gonna give the style to the text that is in the span here is the address and here I'm gonna apply the float to the left side and here is the width to the 59 pixel these are the headings in the span email telephone and here is the text line to the left side right side the text is aligned to the right side and here is the margin is on just on the left side zero and zero and now here you see that these text are floated to the right side and text is also aligned to the right and we have give it the width and then the margin on the left side this is the margin on the left side and now these description lists are okay and now I'm gonna create this form in a separate section come on here and after this section we have to create another section who have the width 66% and now let's start here is the section and here is its closing tag and now here is the class here I'm gonna give the class adjust for 66% width and then here is the rep call and here is the div and here is I'm gonna give a heading of the form here is the heading contact form and now here I'm gonna create a form here it is form and here we have to give it id contact form and now here it is and now here we have to give the field set and here is the field set and now in between this first of all we have to create the input fields and we have to put these names along with the input fields and these input fields and names are in the label so now here I'm gonna make the label and here is the label and here is the span a span here it is and now here I'm gonna give name here it is and now after this span we have to give the input type text here is the text and now here it is increase it and here is the input type is email and then here is the email and then here is I'm gonna create a text area for the message here is the text area and here is the message and now here is this and now after this we have to create these buttons these are the anchor tags so now for this I'm going to create it then I will give the style to each and everything here is the div here is its classes btns buttons and here is the closing tag of the div 
and then here is the anchor tag and here is the hyper reference and here is this and here is reset and here is the button and then here we have to write the send and now it is ok the form is made it now we have to give it the styles so first of all I'm gonna give the style to the contact form this is the ID of the form and then I will give the style to each and everything here in the style this is the ID here we have to write this first of all give it the display as a block the form is going to be displayed as a block here is the position is relative and here is the margin I'm gonna give the margin to the form 7 pixel from the top 0 0 and now here it is so the space is created between the form and the heading due to the margin and now this is the full field set this border is the field set I'm gonna remove it and here we have to write field set and here is the margin is 0 0 and here is the padding is also 0 and here is the border is none and now here I'm gonna give the style to the label here I'm gonna use this contact form ID and here is the label and I'm gonna give it the display as a block and here is minimum height of the label that contain the input fields and the text here is 34 pixel and here is the position is relative and overflow is hidden here is the overflow is hidden and now let's check it and here you see that field set is removed the height and width is given to the label and now here I'm gonna give the style to the text that is appear outside these fields here is the text and now here we have to write hash contact form and here is the span and here it is and now first of all give the float to the left and here is the width 69 pixel and here I'm gonna give text align to the right side and here is the margin 4 pixel from the top 8 pixel from the left side 0 pixel and 0 pixel so now here I'm gonna show you this margin is added on the left side of this text on the top side and now here I'm gonna give the rest of the style in the next video so thank you for watching this video uh, we will complete this form in the next video